Texas Television Network. Live from Lawrence, Kansas, it's the 5A state championship between the Liberal Redskins and the Blue Valley Tigers. Brought to you by Patrick Well Service, Inc., National Beef Packing Company, Furniture Mart, Sonic Drive-In Restaurants, Nichols Fluid Service, Inc., GMC Truck Dealers of Southwest Kansas, Citizen State Bank, Southwest Medical Center, National Carriers, Inc., Liberal Area Botech, Pizza Huts of Southwest Kansas, Klingon Tires, Inc., Mobile Exploration and Producing, U.S., KUPK TV 13 and KTN West, and by the Liberal Redskin Boosters, Adolescent Support Services, Caldwell Banker, Whitkey & Associates, Kushel Inc. Automotive Service, and Parts Plus Automotive Parts, J&R Sand Company, Inc., Robert M. Miles, A&A &A Construction, Leon Tabor Realty, Miller Mortuary, Quick Car Lube and Tune of Liberal, Panhandle Eastern Pipeline Company, H&W Electrical Service, Mortgages Unlimited, Best Well Service, Inc., Angles Conoco Food Stores, Byron Bird and Associates Chartered CPA, Cobra Inc., Pat Brewer and Gary Rogers, Liberal Safety Lane, Inc., Godfrey Hay and Rice Chartered CPAs, Kitch Funeral Home, Smith Greenleaf and Brooks Attorneys, Weatherford International, Quality Laundry and Dry Cleaners, and Triple R Rentals, L.C. And now, Tracy Oop and Robert Houston with today's coaches. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Memorial Stadium on the campus of the University of Kansas, the 5A State Football Championship. To be decided here this afternoon, the Redskins of Liberal take on Blue Valley High, the Tigers. Head coach Jerry Cornelson of Liberal with us this afternoon. And coach, the last five years, the Redskins have been in the championship game. This year, no different. It's really great to play in this, this game. Our kids have worked real hard this year. We were a little bit of an underdog early when we had some injuries, but we fought back, and we, we were lucky to get here. Indeed it was. A battle last week, one of the best high school games I've ever seen, Valley Center Liberal High School. Offensively, you didn't do all that much. The defense came up with some big, big plays. Our defense has played well the last month. They've kept people out of the end zone, and, and they're doing a great job. The defending state champions are the Liberal Redskins. Coach, rate this team to past years. How much fun has this year been? It's been a, this has been a really great year for, for our team. We, we weren't expecting to get back to this game, but uh, we had some adversity in the middle of the season. The kids pulled together, and we've developed into a good football team. We play hard on defense. Our offense is taking advantage of situations. So we, we're real proud to be in this game. What will it take for the Redskins to win another championship? We're going to have to control the game with their offense. Uh, they have an outstanding offense. They throw the ball a lot. They're well coached. Coach Rampage has done a tremendous job getting his team back to this game uh, in such a short time after they split schools. Uh, we're going to have to control the game with our offense. Our defense is going to have to eliminate their big play potential. Coach, good luck this afternoon. Rob Houston talks with Blue Valley coach Steve Rampy next. Stadium on the campus of the University of Kansas. Joined now by Steve Rampey, the head coach of Blue Valley High School. Congratulations on making it to the state championship ball game. Big win for you last week over Salina Central. Absolutely. Salina Central's got a great program. They're great players, and uh, we were very fortunate to go out there and have a win. Tell us a little bit about that ball game and, and how you were able to pull out that overtime victory. Well, I think we just put the, the weather and the conditions behind us and out of our head and just played as hard as we could. And I think maybe the weather bothered Salina Central a little bit. Uh, our defense played uh, outstanding uh, football for four quarters, and uh, we hung on and won. They were a great team. Success of your ball club this season, of course, Sam Scott, your quarterback, an outstanding player. He has been uh, a tremendous player for us all year. He uh, brought great athleticism to the position. He really understands our offense and where we need to put the ball and does a good job of putting it there. All right, Liberal High, the opponent for you this afternoon, the defending state champions. Uh, what do you expect to do to beat Liberal tonight? Uh, you just got to play as hard as you can. I mean, what a, what a football position they've established there five years in a row. We're very honored to be here to play them. Uh, we got to try to control the ball on offense, do the things we've done for the last 11 games, and just try to be disciplined on defense and try to control them a little bit. We're not going to stop them. You know, we just got to try to score when they score and match them. And, uh, it should be a good ball game. Let people play hard. It's Blue Valley head coach Steve Rampey back with more right after this. And 
And welcome back to Memorial Stadium. Tracy Utz alongside Rob Houston. And the toss has uh, already been thrown in the air. And uh, Rob Houston just a few minutes away from kickoff in what should be a great contest. Should be an outstanding ball game here this afternoon. Of course, Liberal, the defending 5A state champion. Blue Valley hasn't been to this title game since 1992, but they pulled off a huge upset of Salina Central last week. So we should have an outstanding matchup here in Lawrence. Redskins are the visitors on the scoreboard. They're decked out in their white with black trunks. And there's the sideline crew of the Liberal High Redskins looking for their second straight state title. And boy, what a run it's been for the Redskins, Rob. Three, uh, two state championships in a four-year period. They look for number three here today. I'll tell you what, though, they've been going on the odd even uh, formula of losing an odd numbered year, so that stat doesn't bode well for Liberal. But they've been here before. They have been here. These sophomores, juniors, and seniors all know what it's like to play in a state championship game. That kind of experience always invaluable when you get to this point. And, of course, so has Blue Valley out of near Kansas City. They have been to the state title game three of the last five years, winning back in 1991, losing in 1992. Looks to go for the gold here this afternoon on a beautiful day in Lawrence, Kansas. Not a better day could be expected than what we see today here on the campus of the University of Kansas. Blue Valley will kick it off as this 5A state football championship is about to begin. Kirk Johnson tees it up at the 40. For the Redskins will receive the opening kickoff for the 1995 state football championship. Set back and enjoy as state championship action is underway. Kick taken at the five yard line by the Redskins, cutting up the middle, crossing the 15, dropping down to the 17 yard line. Jay Wombolt on the stop for Blue Valley. The Redskins offense trounces upon the field. We'll see who will be the starting quarterback, and it looks like Eric Rosel, the junior, has been called upon by head coach Jerry Cornelson to re lead his crew in this 5A state title game. He's a good one, 6'4", 190 pounds, the junior. The I formation for the Redskins. Rosel looks over the defense, first man through landing, and a penalty flag thrown on the first offensive play of the game. Liberal wanted to go on the quick count. May not have been set long enough. Here. Okay, we're going to go with five. Gabriel Badil, the referee of this afternoon's contest, the umpire, Larry Henshaw, the head linesman, Kyle Deere, the line judge, Steve Herrick. Repeat number one. It'll be first and 15 for the Redskins at their own 12-yard line. Eric Rosel. The quarterback in the backfield. Landon Maxwell, the super sophomore, joined by the senior Robbie Lanning. First back through, same play. Lanning with the carry, crossing the 15 to the 17. Back to the original line of scrimmage. Anthony Oring, the big stop for Blue Valley. Just trying to establish the running game with Robbie Lanning, the big fullback, going over the left side of that liberal offensive line. And got most of the penalty yards back, a gain of about four yards. Redskins 10 and 1 on the season. They're only lost to Garden City in September, 14 to 9. That's the margin. They beat Valley Center, earn a shot at the title. Second down, first man through. That is Maxwell, and he finds the going tough. Maybe losing a yard for the Redskins. It'll bring up a third down and a long 11. Nothing there for Landon Maxwell, who took over for Montoya Alsup in week number five after Alsup suffered the injury. As we watch the, well, we won't see the replay, but Maxwell hit in the backfield, dropped for a couple of yard loss. Not much of a play there, so they won't even show it, Rob Houston. The center, Brett Royabaugh, brings out his big offensive line, third and a long 11. And the option for Rosal looking to go deep. Now he's going to tuck it away and run with the ball. Crossing the 20, out of bounds at the 25. He's going to be about two yards shy of a first down. It'll bring up a fourth and punting situation for the Redskins. Good coverage downfield by Blue Valley. Rosal had nobody to throw to. Every, everything coming here toward the right, the near side of the field. And Rosal had nothing to do but to able to tuck it under and take off, try to get as much as he could. Got pushed out of bounds, two yards shy of a first down. A well, punting crew coming on for the Redskins. Eric Rosal, boy, he's an outstanding football player, missing two games, the first two district, rather, the first two playoff games because of mono. 
but he was there last week and uh, was a key part in the, the Redskins advancing to the state title game. The ball is down at the 27-yard line. The punt is in the air. It's a pretty good kick. Crossing the 50, taking a Redskin bounce as Blue Valley gets away from the football, and it'll roll dead at the 38. That's where Blue Valley will take over offensively. And what an offense, Rob Houston, Blue Valley has. Sam Scott, their quarterback, just an outstanding player, 156 out of 264, over 2,000 yards and 23 touchdowns on the season. This is an outstanding player. He sat the bench a couple of years, uh, waited his turn. It's been his turn this year, and he's done a great job. Ryan O'Rourke, the center of the quarterback. Sam Scott, the tailback, Tom Craven. Wide outs this side, rolling for the first pass of the ball game. It's Scott, and it's Scott at the 45 to the 50, knocking out of bounds, and a penalty flag is thrown. Catch made by Nick Madeline. It'll be enough for a first down, about a gain of 15 on the play, but again, a penalty flag has been thrown. So, Rob, each team's on their first offensive play, a penalty flag thrown. We'll see who this is against. Scott just rolls to his left side, and Madeline coming out from the right, just sliding across the line of scrimmage, makes a nice catch, gets some good downfield blocking, but the clip was called against Ryan Roberts. Number one. Matt Hensley there to knock the receiver down, but negate the penalty. As the penalty will be marked off from the spot of the foul, it will bring up a first and what, a 17. Ball down to the 34-yard line. Blue Valley likes to throw the football 70% of the time. Wide outs three to the far side. The single setback. Tom, uh, Sam Scott, the QB. Dropping back. And the delayed handoff goes to Craven. Tom Craven with the carry. Kevin Omi there to haul down the Blue Valley runner. But not before a gain of a couple. It'll bring up a second down and a long 15. Liberal just went with a three-man front that time. And Kevin Omi, the linebacker, stepped right into the hole on the draw play and dropped Craven for a very short gain. Ball resting at the 35-yard line. Sam Scott, the senior. 187 yards per game passing. Had a pair of games scoring, tossing four touchdown passes. On the run is Scott, and the pass is thrown away. I think that's what Sam was doing. Now, Dustin Harmon with the reception on the sideline. He was just standing over there as the man who was covering him had fallen down, and Harmon, uh, the leading receiver on this team, makes the reception. You see Scott rolling to his right here, and Harmon... Or make, yeah, Harmon will get over there. There he is, just right there. Keeps both feet in bounds. Gets it in the, in front of Matt Hensley. Boy, that's a great catch by Harmon. 994 yards on the season. 68th catch of 1995. It'll bring up a third and seven. Ball at the 45. Scott looks over that four-man front for the Redskins. Drops back with a couple of steps. Now throws it up, and the pass is caught by Bobby Haas. He's crossing the 30 down to the 25. Great catch by Haas. Tackle made by Jason Andrews. Blue Valley with the first, first down of this ball game. Great connection with Robbie Haas. Scott, just a quick two-step drop, fires it down the field. Catch is made. And then it was Eric Love that came up from the secondary but missed him. And that allowed about an extra 15-yard reception. You see the miss right there, and Haas Sprints down the field for a big first down for Blue Valley. That secondary will be tested all day long for the Redskins. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. In motion comes the, the Blue Valley still. Well, first man through, but the Redskins not through. Robbie Lanning there to knock down Tom Craven for a three-yard loss. Robbie Lanning, one of the best middle linebackers, not only in western Kansas, but in the entire state. He's all over the field making tackles. He'll run sideline to sideline. He'll drop in coverage every once in a while. That time, read the, the uh, draw play, came right up the middle, stuffed the hole, and dropped the runner for a two-yard, make it a three-yard loss. First quarter, first quarter here from Memorial Stadium at the University of Kansas in Lawrence. No score, 8.15 to go in the opening frame. But Blue Valley threatening. Second down and 13. Sam Scott, the outstanding quarterback. Fakes the handoff, 
And the ball is loose on the ground. Who's going to get it? The Redskins come up with the fumble. They point towards that direction. We'll see if the officials agree, and they do. First turnover of the ball game belonging to Blue Valley. The Redskins recover, and they thwart a possible scoring drive by Blue Valley. For everything from the family dinner to the backyard barbecue, the perfect... Scott pressured from behind, the ball knocked loose, and the Redskins come up with the first turnover of the ball game. Chief Calhoun was the one that came in from the outside and forced the fumble by Sam Scott, and Liberal takes over. First and 10, Redskin own 33-yard line. With the option is Russell. He has a hold of it, crossing the 35. He's knocked back. He'll mark his forward progress down at the 35. It'll bring up a second down and a long seven. Russell runs that option, and he's such a big quarterback. 6'4", you don't see many quarterbacks in high school football, 6'4". And uh, he's a tough runner, too. He'll get you some, some hard-nosed yards. He just tucked the ball under, went around the right side, and picked up what he could. Got a good gain on first down. 7-18 to go, first quarter, no score. Redskins looking to second down. There's the late handoff to uh, Maxwell trying to cut outside, gain of three, but no more. Tackle made by Nate Cummings for Blue Valley, bringing up a third down. Maxwell trying to operate over the left side of that big liberal offensive line. Chad Heston, the left tackle. Jared Neiman, the left guard. Finding the going a little bit tough, but four yards. You, you get four yards every time you run the football. You're going to move the chains quite a bit and have a lot of success. Indeed. Third down and a long two. Heston, Neiman, Warbaugh, Bryson Adams. The front five for the Redskins. There's the option. First man through Lenning, and he's not going to have enough. He's about a yard shy. It'll bring up a fourth down. Decision time for the Redskins. Anthony Oreck, the middle linebacker for Blue Valley, stuffed Robbie Lanning about a yard shy of that first down. And our first decision of the ball game for head coach Gary Cornelson. I think they'll pump the football this early. No score. This first quarter about a half, half a quarter old. And the Redskins indeed will punt the football. Uh-oh, first man through the, 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 the uh, fake. Who's running with the football number 12? That's Hemsley. Cuts it up. He's going to go. He tripped at the two-yard line. What a fake by the Redskins. And like Blue Valley, I was fooled. What a play by Liberal High School. Matt, Matt Hensley, the up man in that punting formation, and Dustin Harmon, the return man, saved the touchdown for Blue Valley. But they snap it right here to Matt Hensley, and he has a big hole right between the tackle and the guard. Then he just angles to the outside, and he only has one man to beat, and that's Dustin Harmon, who was able to trip him up the two. First and goal at the two. First man through. That's Max. No, it isn't. It's Eric Love. Or is it Maxwell? It's Maxwell for the touchdown. 12th touchdown of the season for the sophomore. And the Redskins a little trickery on the scoreboard. 5.36 to go. They lead 6-0. Just a deep handoff to Maxwell angling over the right side. And Nick Madeline tried to save the touchdown, but couldn't as Maxwell dragged him into the end zone. Redskins defending 5A state champs on the board first. Newton will attempt the point after touchdown. It's placed down by Hensley. The kick is up, and it is... Good. 5.36 to go. First quarter, Liberal 7, Blue Valley nothing. This is KTN West. Furniture Mart, the big store on the corner. Hi, I'm Larry Harp, inviting you to stop in and take a look around. You'll find the largest selection of quality home furnishings in Southwest Kansas, all with the price and value you're looking for. We have great name brands like Lazy Boy, Mastercraft, Chromecraft, Lexington, Riverside. Dustin Newton will kick it off for the Redskins. 5.36 to go. First quarter, the liberal Redskin fans on their feet. The Skins lead 7-0. Ball set down at the 10-yard line. Back for Blue Valley to receive the kickoff is Dustin Harmon. He's got some wheels on him. They stand at the 10-yard line. 
It's a low kick, takes a bounce, and going to be picked up by Harmon. And now he steps out of bounds at the 15-yard line, so the Redskins' defense gets a good break as it'll be 85 yards to pay dirt for the Blue Valley offense. Now, not a smart decision that time by Harmon. As he's standing right there on the sideline, he lets that thing go out of bounds, and Blue Valley would take over at the 35 instead. He puts his team in a hole by fielding the ball with his feet on the line, and it'll be Blue Valley ball at the 15. Redskins seeking their second straight state title, their third in five years. They lead 7-0, 5.36 to go first quarter. Sam Scott, the quarterback, single setback is Tom Craven. The handoff to Craven goes right side, gain of one and no more. Matt Steen there for the Redskins stop. Blue Valley a passing team 70% of the time, but they're trying to get the running game going here against Liberal. And Liberal playing just the, uh, they're playing the four-man front, but only a couple of linebackers and five DBs. But the, li the Liberal linebackers have been able to step right in there. Lanning's made some good hits there, Matt Steen. The Tigers, the 1991 state champions, they beat the Redskins, second and nine. Spot at the 16-yard line. Rolling to his left as Scott throws it up wide open as Harmon caught at the 28, trying to get it back up towards the middle of the field and does, crossing the 30, finally dropped down at the 33-yard line. Matt Hensley there to make the stop for the Redskins. First down, move the chains for Blue Valley. Scott had a lot of time as he rolled to his left side. He runs the football very well. Not a big kid, about six feet, 165 pounds, but throws the strike. Harmon, his 69th pass catch of the season. That's amazing. He's well over 1,000 yards in pass catching. First and 10, Bond at the 33. And the ball loose on the floor, and I think Sam Scott falls upon it. It was a pass play, but Scott couldn't handle the snap. Looked like he might have ran into the back side of his own right guard. That might have dropped that football loose, but Scott able to pounce on it on this artificial turf here at KU. And second down and long, the call for Blue Valley. Blue Valley 9-2 and two on the season. Both wins in the playoffs were considered upsets. They beat Independence, which was considered an upset. They beat Salina Central, which indeed was an upset. Second down and 13, rolling to his right. As Scott throws it up, pass is caught at the 46-yard line, but not enough for a first down. That was Harmon, Dustin Harmon, the favorite target of Sam Scott. Rob Hoffman there to knock the receiver out of bounds. Hoffman actually had pretty good coverage on Dustin Harmon, but Scott threads the needle and drills it in there just where only one guy could catch it, and that was his own Dustin Harmon for the reception, and now third and short. Third and a long two. They need to get to the 43-yard line. University of Kansas, what a nice facility here. In motion comes the running back, rolling to his left as Scott throws it up the middle, wide open at the 50, passes cut. It'll be a first down for Blue Valley. Ryan Robertson catches the football, but not before gaining eight yards on the pass completion. Third and two, such a tough down when you're defensing against a passing team. You normally think of that as a running situation. But Scott rolls to his left, stops, sets his feet, and fires a bullet out into the flats. And a nice catch by Robertson. Turned it up, got a couple of extra yards. First down for Blue Valley. Third first down of the first quarter for Blue Valley. Redskins lead 7-0. 3.33 to go opening frame. 5A state football championship. Ball at the midfield. And off to lay to Craven, and he gets nothing. See Steve Calhoun, a 185-pound senior for Liberal High School, making the big tackle. Blue Valley not getting anything established, rushing the football against the Liberal defense. Again, even though Liberal's running a 4-2-5 look, just uh, the Blue Valley offensive lineman not able to blow the Liberal defensive lineman off the ball to get the ground game going. Look for more and more passing as the day goes on for Blue Valley. Second down and 11 for the Tigers. Ball near the midfield stride. Dropping straight back, now rolling to his right. Is Scott wide open at the 45, now to the 40, is Robertson does some nifty running back towards the middle, and it's going to be very close to another first down. Tom Wooten was the defensive back. He was in the wrong place. He was on this the near side of the field. He sprinted all the way across the field because his man was lined up on the right side. 
his man happened to be Ryan Robertson. And then when Robertson caught the ball, he turned it back to the inside, Wooten out of position, and a first down for Blue Valley. Nice uh, work by Sam Scott to find the open man. Ball marked down just inside of the 40. What a beautiful day, Rob Houston, in Lawrence, Kansas. Not a better day to play football. Single setback, wide outs with both sides. Dropping back is Scott. He's being pursued now. He'll tack it away and lose two yards. Good defense by the Redskins. Joe Carrillo making the stop. One of the players in there to make the stop for the Redskins. Jared Newman there. Neiman. Scott slow and getting up, too. And that would be a big, big break. He's holding his left knee. That is not a good situation for the Blue Valley Tigers. You see where it happened. It had to happen when he went down on the ground. And again, that is not a good picture if you're a Blue Valley fan. And there are so many here this afternoon as they look for their second state title. Again, Rob Houston, nobody was open. He tucks it away and runs with the football. We'll see if we can see the knee go down. There it is right there. You can see uh, being bent backwards. Uh, Matt Steen had him down around the uh, uh, the lower part of the body, and then as he pulled him back to make the tackle, the whole pile came backwards as well onto Sam Scott's bent back knee. That's uh, not a good-looking injury for the Blue Valley Tigers. Ryan Robertson, a 151 junior, warming up on the sidelines. Timeout from Lawrence, 153 to go. Redskins 7, Blue Valley nothing. Congratulations, Reds. Role models are more important than ever in today's society. You can serve as a role model for others the next time. You display good sportsmanship at a high school athletic event. Good sports are winners. Everyone appreciates the good values portrayed by acts of good sportsmanship. A public service message from the Kansas State High School Activities Association. As you see, the pass incomplete, Ryan Robertson, is the new quarterback for Blue Valley on a second down and 12. Tough to ask a backup quarterback who's been standing on the sidelines uh, for the morning to come out, roll, and then throw deep. And he just out threw everybody. That might have been just to shake the cobwebs out a little bit because the closest guy to that was Liberals' Matt Hensley, and he overthrew Hensley by four or five yards. Scott, by the way, walked off the field under his own power but with a noticeable limp on the left side. This drive started at the Blue Valley 15-yard line. Third down and 12, ball at the 42. Robertson, the quarterback, drops back, rolls to his left, looking up the middle. Now we'll throw it out, and the pass is caught at the 20. Inside the 20, down to the 16-yard line. Nick Madlin making the catch for Blue Valley, and another first down for the Tigers. They're on a roll. That's a great-looking pass from Robertson that time as he rolled to his left. Stopped and fired, and he threw into double coverage. It looked like if he wanted to run, he could have, and maybe gotten close to the first down, but he fires the strike to Madeline in between the double coverage of the Liberal Redskins, and the Tigers on the roll down to the Liberal 17. Nick Madeline with 10 touchdowns on the season, ball at the 17. Robertson, a junior, he'll be the quarterback next season. Dropping back, now the quarterback draw. Inside the 10, cuts to the outside to the 8-yard line. Tackle made by number 34, Rob Houston. Not Rob Houston, <laughs> Rob Hoffman for the Redskins. It'll bring up a second down. Yeah, he didn't fool me down there on the field. <laughs> Hoffman, uh, that's a good play, though. That's a good job. They show the pass and go with the running game on the quarterback draw. That loosened up that Redskin defense a little bit. The actual running game hasn't been effective, so they throw the quarterback draw, and they're just another wrinkle for the front four of Liberal to have to think about. Quite a rivalry developing between Liberal and Blue Valley. It started in 1991. Brian Schottenheimer was the quarterback. Robertson now the quarterback. Second down and four. The first man through is Craven, and he's knocked right at the line of scrimmage. A gain of nothing, and again, Steve Calhoun there on the stop for the Redskins. It'll bring up a third down. Yeah, just the, the natural running game for Blue Valley not working. There's Calhoun right there to shed the block of the guard and was right there to drop the running back for no gain. This would be a great benefit for Blue Valley should they put points on the scoreboard, especially since they'll do it with Sam Scott, the starting QB, on the sideline. Third down and a short two. Ball at the eight-yard line. Rolling to the right is Robertson. Throws the little out pass. Can't be handled. 
by Madeline. It'll bring up a fourth down. Pass was a little bit high, but Madeline will probably tell you that he should have caught the football. Robertson threw it. He had to stretch up high to try to pull it down. Even if he would have caught it, though, may not have got the first down. So now the critical call for Steve Ramsey in Blue Valley. You go for it here, or you try to get some points on the board in the early going. Robertson is remaining out there, so it looks the first decision of the ball game will go to Blue Valley, fourth and two. You might remember the Redskins got their first touchdown because of a fine run on a fake punt. Dropping back on fourth down, the lob pass to the corner of the end zone. Pass is cut. Touchdown, Blue Valley. Dustin Harmon on the route. A beautiful pass from Robertson. And man, this guy can throw the ball as well. Great touch pass from Robertson. Just lifted it up over the defender, Jason Andrews. And there's there is Harmon right there in the corner of the end zone to make the grab. And with one second left in the quarter, Blue Valley is an extra point away from tying this one up. Kirk Johnson will try to do so on the extra point. The kick is up, and it is good. And this ball game, the 5A State Football Championship, is tied up at seven with but one pick to go in the first quarter. That was a great drive down the field by the Blue Valley Tigers. Again, with the, with the injury to Sam Scott, Robertson comes in at the quarterback, and he takes the team 85 yards right down the field. And on a fourth down play, instead of just getting the first down and going for first and goal, they go for the fade pattern. Great call by Steve Rampey, and it pays off in seven points for the Tigers in a tie ball game. Indeed it was. Steve Rampey, one of the best coaches in the state of Kansas, his counterpart, Gary Cornelson, he's been the head coach throughout five years. He's been to five straight state championship games. And get this, he's been at Liberal a little bit longer. He was there a year earlier. He's won five straight state track titles. Unbelievable. He says he likes track better than football. <laughs> and he's an outstanding football coach. Only lost uh, seven games, I believe, is his, uh, is his losses here at Liberal High School. That's just an amazing record. Their only loss this year came to Garden City back in week five. They bounced back very strong and are once again in the 5A state championship game. Two outstanding programs in 5A here today. There you saw good luck at the many fans from Liberal High School to cheer on the Redskins through. Johnson to key it up. From the 40, we're tied up at seven. One pick remaining in quarter number one. In a tie ball game at seven. Redskins will have three men back. Eric Love stands at the five yard line and will go in the end zone. And there still remains one second left, so the Redskins will have one play to end quarter number one. There is a pretty good breeze here at Memorial Stadium in Lawrence, and the breeze behind the kicker, Kirk Johnson, and he drills it about five yards deep in the end zone. So Liberal, one more play with the wind uh, in their faces, and then they'll turn around and have the advantage of the wind in the second quarter. Redskins will start this possession from their 20. Roar ball the center will lead out his crew. Trace Haskell now in for the Redskins, the sophomore. First man through, that's Lanning. Crossing the 30 down to the 36-yard line as quarter number one has ended. Steve Calhoun gets the carry, and we played one here from the University of Kansas. It's Liberal 7, Blue Valley 7. This is ATN West. From the actual oil or gas well drilling to servicing the pump jacks and wells, Patrick Well Service and Liberal has the equipment and the people necessary to perform a completely professional job. With over 85 employees in the tri-state area and over 24 rigs. There's that liberal band in full force here this afternoon as we approach the noon hour here from the University of Kansas. One quarter completed and we're tied up at seven and Rob Houston, this is what we expected, a tight, tight ball game. Two teams very evenly matched, moving up and down the field. Redskins have a first down at the 33. First man through, left side. Gain of about four. Landon Maxwell with the carry. Tackle made by Nate Cummings for Blue Valley. Anthony Oreck also in there. A pair of linebackers 
in on the stop for the Redskins. Landon Maxwell has had to step in after the injury to Montoya also back in week number five, and he has done an outstanding job rushing for 11 touchdowns on the season. 536 yards, and again, Rob, most of those after week five. There's the delay. Haskell, the quarterback, crossing the 45, the 50. He's at the 40, now to the 30-yard line, finally drug out of bounds. That's the 29 tackle made by David Byers, but what a run by the sophomore. And a great downfield block thrown by Steve Calhoun. Watch Haskell as he gets around the end. Here's the block right here. Calhoun pushes that man out of the way. That opens up a big hole, and there goes Haskell down the sidelines, and Byers has to come from behind to drag Haskell down at the 29-yard line. That's one reason it didn't matter who started the game for the Redskins, the quarterback. They both can run the ball so very well. First down at the 29. Up the middle of the ball goes to, I believe, the first back, Drew Lanning. Steve Calhoun, that is, the ball carrier, gaining three yards on the carry. It brings up a second down. Haskell brings you that dimension of the trickery with that liberal offense. You know, with Russell in there, it's just mainly an option or a roll. And with Haskell, they can run all the little intricacies the liberal usually does, the backs going, uh, the crossing motions and things of that nature. And that way, uh, you never know where the ball's going to go. That time they handed it to Calhoun for a good game. Grace, not a big guy, 140 pounds, a sophomore on the carry, crossing the 25 and dives to the 21-yard line, very close to a first down. Ryan Robertson there to make the stop for Blue Valley. See how long Robertson stays in there playing defense. He, of course, now playing quarterback with Sam Scott hurt. So he's also in there as a starting cornerback. As Haskell got to the corner, had a couple of guys he had to beat Robertson with a good tackle in the open field. This a very young ball club for Liberal High School. A pair of sophomores in the backfield as we speak. Dotted by the, the tailback and Maxwell. Third and one. Maxwell with the carry. He's very close. He's going to be, I believe, just shy. Yeah, I agree with you, Tracy. I think he is going to be a little bit shy. And this is in that uh, that go-for-it territory as you're right around the 20-yard line, just inside the 20. And they're about a, well, almost a full yard shy of that first down. And no decision, no uh, hesitation on the decision anyway by Gary Cornelson. Sends the play in. They're going to go for it on fourth down. The guard, Reagan Dreit, brings in the play from the sideline. Very glove splits wide this time. First man through, he dives for the, the first down, and I think he's got it. Good team tackling by Blue Valley, but I believe Calhoun gets the first down. He spun forward to about the 17-yard line to where they'll mark him at the 18, but that's more than enough. Liberal converts on a key fourth down sequence. A good drive going for the Redskins. They started this possession at their own 20. Now they find a new set of downs at the Blue Valley 23. Grace Haskell wears 10 on his jersey, first and 10. There's the option, keeping the football is Haskell. Now he's going to be drug down for a loss. Making the stop for Blue Valley, Dan Phillips, a 197-pound senior. That's a great play by Phillips because he shed two blockers and still was able to make the tackle on the, uh, on the quarterback, Grace Haskell, as he ran it around the end. Haskell, or Phillips rather, pushed both blockers into the backfield where Haskell had to run around him. By the time he got around both of his own men, there was Phillips to make the stop. Second quarter, 8.56 to go. And again, the option, they give it to Love, who carries it for the first time inside the 20, diving to about the 18. Back to the original line of scrimmage, Ryan O'Rourke from his nose guard position there to make the stop. Well, they send the slot back into the backfield, hand him the football, hopes he can get around the end. Cut it back upfield that time as he broke a tackle right in the backfield and ended up getting a good gain down to about the 17. Here's part of that rowdy, proud student body from Liberal High School. Redskins look at a third and a long nine ball at the 17. Haskell on the reverse. That's Hensley at the 10. Cuts it to the 5. Inside the 5. Touchdown, Liberal. Boy, what a run by Hensley. Matt Hensley is the star of this first half of the ball game. Of course, he ran the fake punt all the way down to the two-yard line on Liberal's first touchdown drive. That time he gets the handoff. Here he comes around the right side. He'll get some key blocks. There's one right there. 
breaks through that tackle. Now he'll break a couple of tackles as he gets down to the end zone. Poor tackling there by the Blue Valley Tigers, and Hensley dives in for the 18-yard touchdown. The final five yards all on Hensley's own. Redskins on top, 13-7. The extra point, no good. Redskins, though, take the lead with 8.03 to go. It's Liberal, 13. Blue Valley, 7. This is 5A State football on KCN West. Matt Hensley gives the Redskins the lead on a 17-yard touchdown run. Here he runs around the right end, cuts inside of a couple of men, then breaks two tackles as he gets it into the end zone, and he gives Liberal a 13-7 lead. Newton with the kickoff, and a tremendous tackle made by Mercy Wiltshire of Liberal High School, and a penalty flag thrown at the end of the play. And my, oh my, David Byers, Rob Houston, nowhere to go. Good kickoff there by Newton as he angled it to the sideline and pinned Byers against the sideline. But uh, Mershek Wiltshire with a great tackle down there at the 12-yard line. But he may have said something to uh, Byers because here's the personal foul call. And you hate to see that, especially following an outstanding tackle by the junior. Tack on 15 yards from where he went down, and now Blue Valley will take their possession at their own 28-yard line. And look who running out on the field for Blue Valley. It's Sam Scott. He's back in the ball game. No surprise there. It's a state championship game. He's a senior. He wants to be out there and hopefully lead his team to a victory. So he's going to go out and give it a shot. Pair of wideouts on both sides, single setback. Sam Scott, the gutsy quarterback, back out for Blue Valley first down. And he's dragged down at the 23. What a tackle by Robbie Lanning. That's a delayed blitz by Robbie Lanning, the middle linebacker. There's the hole opens up. Here comes Lanning. Boom, he just drills Scott down to the turf. Scott had no chance. Good tight coverage on the near side by the Redskins secondary. And Scott didn't have any time to do anything with it but just eat it for a loss back to the 19. Man, you, you, you get hurt, you leave the ball game, you come in, and you're welcomed by Robbie Lanning. Second and 14 for Blue Valley. Ball just inside the 24. First back through Cravens, and he's dragged down for a loss. Jarrett Hill there to make the stop for the Redskins. Liberal went with six defensive backs in that sequence. They only had three down linemen and two linebackers, and Blue Valley still can't run the football against this Liberal front. It's a great job by the, uh, the defensive coaches for the Liberal getting the scheme, stopping the running game, and there's Garrett Hill. You look at the, the head snapping back on the running back, and then he got some help from his friends. But third and very long for the Tigers. He'll say third and 17 at the 22-yard line. Scott will have to pass, rolls to his left, looking for a man, good protection, and he's drugged down at the 12-yard line. Evan Omi with the stop. Three straight plays, Liberal High School. Three straight losses for Blue Valley. Kevin Omi, the right defensive end, just keeps pushing his man into the backfield as Scott rolled to his left. Again, great coverage downfield by the Redskins, and there's Omi shedding the block of the running back, Tom Craven, and dropping Scott for another big loss. This will be an important punt for Blue Valley. The punter stands at the goal line. Good snap. Redskins had the block attempt on. It's a high kick, a good kick, taking a Blue Valley bounce near the 50-yard line. That's where Blue Valley will down it. Redskins, excellent field position, though, for this offensive set. Started just inside Blue Valley territory, just inside midfield. But if you're the special teams coach from Liberal, you've got to tell your punt returner, get up there and make the catch. This is an artificial turf surface. You're going to get a lot of crazy bounces on the artificial turf. Liberal could have had about 10 extra yards if they'd have fielded the punt. 13-7, Redskins by 6, 5.32 to go first half. Trace Haskell leads out the offense. There's the reverse, the love, cuts it up at the 45, now to the 30. He's at the 20, he's at the 15, the 10, the 5, touchdown, Liberal High School. Outstanding effort by Love. Got it around the end, got the big kick out block, and then he broke a couple of tackles downfield. 
and the Redskins go up 19 to 7 on the 49-yard run by Eric Love. Love from the Z-back position and finds a hole, and then it was a foot race all the way. His third touchdown of the season. This in the state title game, a 49-yard run. Broke two tackles right there, and then the, the final Blue Valley player dove for him, couldn't make it. Now the Redskins thinking about going for two. And they will take a timeout to talk it over. Redskins on a pair of big, big plays in the ball game have taken a 19-7 lead, 5.20 to go. You're listening to Championship Football on KTN West. That Redskin flag waving proudly in the winds of Memorial Stadium in Lawrence, Kansas. Redskins 19, Blue Valley 7, they go for two. Trace Haskell, the quarterback. And the fake up the middle. Touchdown, two-point conversion, 21-7, Redskins. Robbie Lanning, Kevin Omi threw two huge blocks, kicked out the end in the cornerback, and Haskell had an easy time of getting it into the end zone. It doesn't get much easier than this, Rob Houston. There's the two-point conversion again. There's the two kick-out blocks there by Lanning and by Omi, and Haskell just walked in untouched. That made up for the missed extra point on the last touchdown, and Liberal leads it 21-7 with 5.20 to go in the first half. In our society, winning has come to mean everything. However, if winning comes at the expense of good sportsmanship, everyone is a loser. Good sportsmanship is the result of a disciplined effort to respect yourself, your opponents, and game officials. Remember, good sports are winners. A public service message from the Kansas State High School Activities Association. The burial grounds, liberal Redskins, state champions in 1980, 1992, 1994, and they have the advantage in 1995, leading 21-7 with 5.20 to go in the first half. Still a lot of time to play a football game, especially with a pass-happy attack from Blue Valley. Dustin Mutant again to tee it up. His third time of the ball game at the 40. Kick up the middle. It'll be taken by Blue Valley and fumbled at the 15. Picking it up at the 20 to the 21-yard line is Byers. Almost a miscue, but Byers there to make sure Blue Valley keeps possession. Well, down on the field before the game, uh, watching some of the punt returners and kick returners from Blue Valley, and they were having trouble with the winds here at Memorial Stadium and fielding the pass. Of course, it's a horseshoe-type stadium, and the uh, Blue Valley uh, punt returners and kick returners during the uh, pregame warm-ups having trouble fielding the ball. Byers that time also having some trouble handling it. Saw future Redskins on the sidelines, one of them with, with a shaven head. Ryan, Ryan Robertson back out there to quarterback for Blue Valley, and again, for a fourth straight time, Blue Valley has had the football. The Redskins have shot him down. I'm craving the carry, but nothing going. Again, Blue Valley just cannot run the football. The only play they've really had the successful one was the quarterback draw by Robertson earlier. But Steve Calhoun and friends in there to make the stop. Again, Liberal going with either only a 4-2 or a, even a 3-2 with six defensive backs, depending upon the situation. Blue Valley not able to run the football. Second down and 12. Robertson the QB. Harmon at the top of the screen. Robertson is scrambling to his left, looking for a man to throw to. Now he'll tuck it away, but he won't get rid of the football. Instead, will be drugged down by Matt Steen. Another loss by Blue Valley, this time a three-yard loser. Matt Steen, great pursuit for the liberal linebacker running down the line, trying to get back to Robertson as he rolls to his left. Good coverage by the Redskins. He, Garrett Hill missed him, but here comes Steen. Grabs him between the two and the one on the backside and just drags him down. Got just enough of Jersey. Third down and 15. And, Rob, that's the fifth straight offensive down. Blue Valley has lost yardage. Four down linemen for the defense of Liberal High School. Robertson, the fill-in quarterback, drops back and throws to the right. Ball is in the air. Good defense by Liberal. Jason Andrews on the defense making the coverage on Dustin Harmon, and it brings up another fourth down and punting situation for the Tigers. Well, that's a tough pass to throw, especially into the swirling winds here at Memorial Stadium in Lawrence. 
as that ball just hung up there for a long time, and that allowed Andrews to get back in good coverage to uh, make the play. Luke War Wardle will punt for Blue Valley. It's a good kick in the air. Takes another Blue Valley bounce and will roll dead near the 50-yard line at the 49. And uh, Rob Houston, if you remember just a few minutes ago, it took one play. Eric Love scores from 49. Yeah, it's almost the exact same spot. That time the punt returner not able to get up there and make the catch. Uh, standing back a little bit too deep into this uh, is Blue Valley kicking into this wind. But almost the exact same spot. Of course, the ball is on the right hash. Now it's on the left hash. But two Liberal can do here. They're up 21-7. They have 317 to play in the first half. And see if they can put some more distance between them and Blue Valley. Haskell, the quarterback, gets third offensive set. They, tr they fake the reverse. Now they're going to pass the ball. Hensley's wide open. Well, excuse me. Hensley throws it to a wide open Trace Haskell. He makes the catch at the 30. And, boy, trickery alive here. Liberal offense. It looks like the end around play to Hensley as the crowd from Liberal on their feet applauding the Redskins. Handed it off to Hensley, and then Haskell just runs into the pattern. There's the handoff. Now you see Haskell coming to the right of your screen. Hensley looking that way. If he leads Haskell just a little bit, it's a touchdown. Now the carry. Cutting it up is Love. Love inside the 20, down to the 16-yard line. Now Blue Valley having problems defensively of stop, uh, stopping that running attack by Liberal High School. Nate Cummings puts the final hit on Eric Love. Eric Love, that play designed to go to the right. But Love saw the hole up the middle, cut it back left, and got a big gain down to the 16-yard line. Liberal making it look very easy. High formation for the Redskins. First and 10 at the 15. Up the middle they go. First man through. Lanning carrying a couple of Tigers with him inside the 10 to about the 8-yard line. And that's an 8-yard gain on first down right up the middle. With all the uh, deception going on in the backfield, Blue Valley has kind of lost track of that fullback, and Lanning just put the two big arms around the football and rumbled for a good gain of almost seven yards. The Redskins not making our jobs any easier. We try to find the football. Second down and three. Haskell keeps it. He's at the 10, cuts up to the five. He's still on his feet. He'll be dragged down at about the four-yard line. The first hit made by Jay Wombolt. But not before the Redskins pick up a first down with 1.57 to go first half. Yeah, and they have two timeouts remaining, but obviously wouldn't need to use them down at the two-yard line. They want as much time to tick off. Good defense there by Blue Valley. They just had the Redskins outnumbered, but uh, not before a good gain for Liberal down to the three. Clock resumes action following the change on first down. First and goal from the four. Outside ball in the end zone. Touchdown, Liberal High. Maxwell, his second touchdown of the afternoon. Just drag Reed Christensen along for the ride, and the Redskins extend their lead with a minute 45 to go in the first half. Here's just the straight handoff to Maxwell. Puts his head down and lowers the shoulder and drags a man into the end zone for Maxwell's second touchdown of the afternoon. You're going to see that tandem a lot next year as well. Both are sophomores. The extra point attempt up, and it is good. 28-7 Redskins on a roll here in the first half. 1.45 to go. We'll, we'll stay right here, Rob Houston, and the second quarter has been very good for the Redskins offense. Well, working with the wind, but uh, they're, maybe the wind's making them run faster because they're <laughs> not putting the ball in the air. This has just all been on the ground for the liberal Redskins, either Russell or Haskell. But since Haskell has come in, he has really been very effective in moving this team right down the field. I mean, just getting huge chunks of yardage on this Blue Valley defense. And Blue Valley just wants to get it into this locker room and, and regroup and Try to come out with a strong second half, but right now it has just been all Redskins, especially from the first or from the second quarter on, as Liberal has just marched you right down the field three consecutive times. Trace Haskell has engineered the three scoring drives, one from 80, the last two from 49, and the Redskins 28, Blue Valley 7. And again, you mentioned Rob Houston, it was 7 7 after one quarter. Scott's injury seemed to take a lot out of the Tigers, and even though he came back on the last series, 
boy, it's tough to get that momentum back once you've kind of dropped off. Justin Newton again to key it up and key it off and kick it off for the Redskins. Down the middle of the field it goes. Pass taken at the 10-yard line out to the 30. A good run there, and now the ball is loose. It's on the turf. I think Blue Valley keeps it. Hell, Liberal are thinking they have it. That was a huge hit. Looked like he was about to go down, and then somebody came and wiped him out. Liberal got it. Man. No. There's the signal. Blue Valley with it. You've got to watch yeah. the right guy. You, yeah. The guy in the stripes will tell you the whole story. And the Redskins trying to win an Oscar there. Well, that ball, anytime there's a big pile up like that, that ball passes hands probably about six or seven times before the officials can go in there and clean it up and determine who had the football. But Blue Valley, well, that could have been the, a nail in the coffin if Liberal would have recovered that football. Instead, Blue Valley, pretty good shape at their own 31-yard line. Clock running, 114. First half, Ryan Roberts in the QB. Changes the play at the line of scrimmage. Fakes the handoff, rolls to the left. He's going to keep it. He's at the 40. And spins out of bounds near the 43. Good run by the junior. It'll bring up a first down, but now time of factor for Blue Valley. Only 59 seconds to go, and they've got a lot of room to work. Did a smart thing to get out of bounds. He had a lot of room to run on that far side as well. As he rolled to his left, the defensive end for Liberal got pinched inside by the, the tackle and the tight end working over there, just the tackle actually, and a lot of room to run for Robertson. He did the smart thing to get out of bounds. Single setback for the Tigers of Blue Valley. With the carries, Cravens up the middle. Breaks a tackle near the 50-yard line. It'll be a gain of seven, but the clock continues to run. That's one of the better runs uh, from scrimmage for Blue Valley here this afternoon as Liberal in their prevent defense, but the clock continues to roll. A little surprised Steve Rampy not taking a timeout here. He has all three remaining, but the clock shows 35 seconds. Redskins defense has played very well in the first two quarters. 28 seconds to go. A delayed handoff. It looks like Robertson wants to keep it. He's at midfield now to the 40, to the 35. Finally knocked out of bounds to the 34-yard line. Clock stops at 20. Jason Andrews there to make the stop for the Redskins. And now you might see the ball in the air, Rob Houston. Yeah, I think you will down at the 34-yard line. First down. And again, all three timeouts left, so you don't just have to go to the sidelines. You can throw the ball down the middle of the field and get a quick timeout, and we will have a timeout now taken by the Redskins. They want to regroup on defense. And I'm sure that is exactly what liberal head man Gary Cornelson is telling his stingy 11 out there. 20 seconds to go, Redskins 28, Blue Valley 7. But now, whereas 20 seconds ago, Blue Valley was settling to go into the locker room, Rob, I think now they want to put some more points on the scoreboard. Absolutely. If you get just anything on the board here in the final 20 seconds, that just gives you the momentum, the last bit of momentum at the end of the half. Even though you'll be trailing going into the locker room, you've got something to hang your hat on. So if they can get three or especially seven, if they can get into the end zone for seven points, that would be a big lift to this Blue Valley team that's been pushed around by Liberal in the second quarter. Would like to thank those responsible for making this broadcast possible, including the Kansas State High School Activities Association, Patrick Wells Service Incorporated, National Beef Packing Company, Furniture Mart, Sonic Drive-In Restaurants. First and ten, Robertson drops back. He's being pursued, gets the pass off. It's incomplete, out of the hands of Harmon. Three seconds tick off the clock. It'll bring up a second and ten. Blue Valley had the right play called there as they just brought Harmon underneath the blitzing liberal defense. Robertson got it off. He was under a lot of pressure, and uh, Harmon just couldn't handle the pass. If he would have caught that football, he could have had some room to run. So the play call was right. The execution just a little bit off for Blue Valley, and it's second down and ten. And again, Blue Valley, three timeouts remaining. So they, again, as Rob says, can keep it in the middle of the field. 17 seconds to go. Redskins by three scores. Dropping back, Robertson looks to his left, throws it up the middle, ball in the air, it's caught! It's caught at the 14-yard line! Nick Madlin, the outstanding catch as he jumps high in the air to bring down the pass, and another first down for Blue Valley, or is it? Well, they're saying he juggled the football, saying he did not come down with the football, so an incomplete pass. 
Watch it here, Rob. Yeah, here's Robertson throwing. He fires a bullet. But great looking pass downfield. Madeline and the hit to her stuck on there by uh, Eric Rossell. Can't see from this angle, but you can see right there he doesn't have the football in his hand. So an incomplete pass. Rossell with the big hit to knock it away from Madeline. Uh, indeed a very big play. Eight seconds to go. Could possibly be the final play of the first half. Robertson rolls to the left. He's being pursued by those angry Reds. Inside the 20, cuts it back out. Now to the outside, inside the 15, but the half in. What a run by Robertson, but he runs out of time. And the Redskins will take a big lead into the locker room at the halftime break. And that's maybe a little bit of inexperience by Robertson. Instead of trying to run the ball 35 yards, could have just stood back there, had some time to throw. Could have fired it down into the end zone, had a better chance. But as it was, the inexperience maybe of Robertson uh, kept Blue, keeps Blue Valley off the scoreboard and the, and the half in. At the end of one, it was Liberal 7, Blue Valley 7. It's halftime for Memorial Stadium in Lawrence, Kansas. Liberal 28, Blue Valley 7. This is KTN West. While the scoreboard reveals the winner of a high school athletic contest, the real winners are those people who treat comp competition as a game and not a war, those who show genuine concern for an injured player and those who accept all decisions of the officials. Remember to be a sport when you attend a high school event. A public service message from your Kansas State High School Activities Association. 28-7 Redskins, the upper hand at half here in this 5A state title game. They lead by three touchdowns. Now let's go a little bit closer downfield. And listen to that liberal band.
nicely done by a very energetic group from Liberal High School, that Liberal Band. 28-7, Redskins lead at the halftime break. This is KT in West. GMC, America's best-built truck. Twenty-eight, seven. Redskins with the halftime lead. Twelve minutes before the start of the second half. Rob Houston by my side. I'm Tracy Oates, and Rob, it's been an outstanding first half. If you're a Liberal fan, if you're a Blue Valley fan, and there are so many out there, what do you do at halftime? You've got to find some way to protect your quarterback. Uh, either Scott, if he can come back into the ball game in the second half, or Ryan Robertson have not had that much time to throw the football. Liberal with their 4-2 front and five defensive backs, sometimes even when they go to the dime package, their six defensive backs are still getting a lot of pressure on the quarterback for Blue Valley. So if I'm Steve Rampey in the locker room at halftime, I have got to find some way to get my quarterback protected so they have time to throw the football. On the other hand, the Redskins coaching staff has to be very pleased with their play in the first half. Defensively, they played so very well. Offensively, they used some trick plays, but that's what wins football games. Three long drives in the second quarter, and they lead by the three touchdown count. Redskins have played very well. The key to the second half for Liberal is to come out with the same intensity you came out in the first half. When you go up with it, you have a big lead at the half, which Liberal does at 28-7, and it was so easy for them in the second quarter. They've got to come out there and not think that they already have this football game won because Blue Valley, obviously a quality opponent, having knocked off Salina Central last week, the team everybody thought was going to be here in the state championship game. So if you're liberal, you have to come out with a lot of intensity in that second half and try to keep Blue Valley a couple of touchdowns down to where they never get in that comfort zone of where they're only a score away from tying this ball game up. The Blue Valley band now upon the field. We'll take a look at the highlights of half number one. Your score at the break, Liberal 28, Blue Valley 7. Getting better and wishing our hometown team, the Liberal Redskins, a safe and successful game is just one way of showing our support. We're proud of all Liberal students, proud of the determination it took to make it to state. Good luck! This message is brought to you by Mortgages Unlimited, Best Well Service, Ingalls Conoco Food Stores, Byron Bird and Associates Chartered CPAs, Cobra Incorporated, Pat Brewer and Gary Rogers, and Liberal Safety Lane Incorporated. Furniture Mart, the big store on the corner. Hi, I'm Larry Harp, inviting you to stop in and take a look around. You'll find the largest selection of quality home furnishings in Southwest Kansas, all with the price and value you're looking for. We have great name brands like Lazy Boy, Mastercraft, Chromecraft, Lexington, Riverside, Keller, and Simmons Beauty Rest Bedding. No matter when you come in, you'll find honest savings every day. At Furniture Mart, you won't get the high pressure hype, but you will get the largest selection of quality home furnishings in Southwest Kansas at reduced prices. So stop in and browse through the big store on the corner. Furniture Mart, only in Liberal. tradition the Liberal High School Redskins have established. We couldn't be any prouder of you and want to take this opportunity to wish you the best of luck as you play in this 5A state championship game. This message is brought to you by Godfrey Hay and Rice Chartered CPAs, Kitsch Funeral Home, Smith Greenleaf and Brooks Attorneys, Weatherford International, Quality Laundry and Dry Cleaners, and Triple R Rentals LC. All proud Liberal Redskin boosters. Today's state championship game is being brought to you by Patrick Well Service, Inc., National Beef Packing Company, Furniture Mart, Sonic Drive-In Restaurants, Nichols Fluid Service, Inc., GMC Truck Dealers of Southwest Kansas, Citizen State Bank, Southwest Medical Center, National Carriers, Inc., Liberal Area Votech, Pizza Huts of Southwest Kansas, Klingon Tires, Inc., 
Global Exploration and Producing U.S., KUPK TV 13 and KTN West, and by the Liberal Redskin Boosters, Adolescent Support Services, Caldwell Banker Whiskey and Associates, Kushal Inc. Automotive Service, and Parts Plus Automotive Parts, J&R Sands Company Inc., Robert M. Miles, A&A &A Construction, Leon Tabor Realty, Miller Mortuary, Quick Car Lube and Tune of Liberal, and Handle Eastern Pipeline Company, H&W Electrical Service, Mortgages Unlimited, Best Well Service Inc., Angles Conoco Food Stores, Byron Bird and Associates Chartered CPA, Cobra Inc., Pat Brewer and Gary Rogers, Liberal Safety Lane Inc., Godfrey Hay and Rice Chartered CPAs, Kitch Funeral Home, Smith Greenleaf and Brooks Attorneys, Weatherford International, Quality Laundry and Dry Cleaners, and Triple R Rentals LC. He was everything a man could ever want, but I just... For 10 years, Nichols Fluid Service and Liberal has been providing complete oil field fluid service 28-7, Redskins leading the Tigers of Blue Valley at the halftime break. Second half about uh, to begin in about five, six minutes. Rob Houston to my right will have statistics, and we'll take a look at the highlights. But first, a timeout as you're watching State 5A Championship Football. Congratulations, Redskins. You've done it again. We're very proud to offer you our support and best wishes as you play in this 5A. Twenty-eight seven Redskins with the halftime advantage. Uh, Rob Houston, two key stats in the first half. Yeah, there really were. Looking at the rushing yardage for Liberal, 23 carries for 241 yards. You average 10 yards per carry, you're going to win a lot of ball games. And the passing yards, 8 of 12 for 122 for Blue Valley. That's okay, but they're only getting 33 yards on the ground in 18 attempts. And uh, not being able to move the ball on the ground, Liberals giving up a few yards, not very many. And when you run for over 10 yards per carry, you're going to lead a lot of games at the half. And the Redskins play very well. No turnovers, two turnovers for the Tigers of Blue Valley been a good first half for the uh, liberal redskins again leading 28 to 7 at uh, the halftime break and uh, you can just run down those uh, the numbers individually hensley's only carried twice but for 76 yards uh, love three for 68 and haskell four for 40 you know those kind of numbers they'll win you a lot of football games so we'll see what happens when they come out to start the second half if they can continue to just move it up and down the field against this blue valley defense as the band leaves the field both teams back on the field. The second half is coming your way. Redskins 28, Blue Valley 7. You're watching state championship football on KTN West. Let's just keep getting better and wishing our hometown team, the Liberal Redskins, a safe and successful game is just one way of showing our support. We're proud of all Liberal students, proud of the determination it took to make it to state. Good luck. This message is brought to you by Mortgages Unlimited, Best Well Service, Ingalls Conoco Food Stores, Byron Bird and Associates Chartered CPAs, Cobra Incorporated, Pat Brewer and Gary Rogers, and Liberal Safety Lane Incorporated. Finding a doctor whose specialties are right for your needs and who is a part of the local community is a top priority. In Liberal Southwest Medical Center, specialty physicians offer the care you need. With three surgeons, Dr. John Moffat, Dr. Ross Grimes, and Dr. Ed Estrada. Eye disease and eye surgical procedures are done by ophthalmologists Dr. Jeff Coons and Dr. Chris Kenobi. Bone joint and muscle disorders are treated and sometimes surgically corrected by orthopedists Dr. Mark Bergeron and Dr. Jim Harrington. Southwest Medical Center in Liberal committed to your good health. What a tradition the Liberal High School Redskins have established. We couldn't be any prouder of you and want to take this opportunity to wish you the best of luck as you play in this 5A state championship game. This message is brought to you by Godfrey Hay and Rice Chartered CPAs, Kitch Funeral Home, Smith Greenleaf and Brooks Attorneys, Weatherford International, Quality Laundry and Dry Cleaners, and Triple R Rentals LC. All proud liberal Redskin boosters.
Blue Valley contingent across the way at Memorial Stadium on the University of Kansas. And Lauren, 28-7, both teams back are on the field and ready to get this second half underway. But some highlights of the first half, Rob Houston, that uh, uh, would make Liverpool happy. Blue Valley not very happy. Here's the first score. Just the handoff over the right side to Maxwell. He puts his head down, and he dives into the end zone. That got Liberal on the board first. They led it 7 to nothing at that point. That Maxwell's 12th touchdown of the year. That play, of course, set up on the fake punt. Hensley, a 59-yard run down to the two-yard line. It's part of the Liberal band. That Liberal band, number one on the cheek of a Redskin fan, and why not? They won it a year ago. They won it back in 1992, and they look for a repeat in 1995. Well, on their way to doing so as well, as they lead it 28 to 7. Again, both teams warming up for the start of the second half. Again, the, the, I guess the question for Blue Valley, will they be able to come back uh, with Sam Scott, his replacement, Ryan Robertson? This was a fourth and two call from the nine-yard line, throwing the fade pattern that Dustin Harmon caught in the corner of the end zone over Jason Andrews, and that tied the game up at that point. It was 7-7 seven to seven as we uh, ended the first quarter of play. That touchdown coming with one second left. So very quickly, the tables turned the reverse, and the Redskins on a run. Matt Hensley took the reverse. He had set up the first touchdown on a fake punt run before, and then he breaks a couple of tackles here and dives into the end zone before the Tigers can get there. That was an 18-yard run, and the point after was missed at that point. It was 13-7, to Liberal on top. Two carries, 79 yards for Hensley in the first half. And the handoff to Love as he came around the left side. There's a good kick-out block there by Maxwell as he turned it upfield. Then a poor tackling by Blue Valley, and he sprinted the rest of the way. 49 yards for the touchdown. The two-point conversion was good, and it was 21-7 Redskins at that point, midway through that second quarter. But the Redskins were not done yet. Here's Maxwell again over the left side. Bounced it to the outside, carried a Blue Valley tackler into the end zone for Maxwell's second touchdown on the afternoon. Just a sophomore, Landon Maxwell with 13 touchdowns on the year, and uh, the halftime lead for the Redskins at 28-7. Three possessions in the second quarter, three scores for the Redskins, and they have the tremendous advantage at the halftime break. There's a look at the head coach, Gary Cornelson, as he rolls up and down the sideline, and he has done that very effective, a pair of state titles, quite possibly on their way to another 52-7. and seven. His five-year record at Liberal High School, just outstanding. But you look across the way, Steve Rampey, Rob, has been just as good. Yeah, he's not bad either. He's uh, directed his team to a state championship. Been there twice in 91 and 92. Again, their opponent has been these Liberal Redskins. Uh, beat them in 1991. Brian Schottenheimer, the quarterback, of course, for Blue Valley in that 91 season. Then Liberal got revenge in 92 with the uh, state championship over Blue Valley. Liberals continue to be there, though. Blue Valley hasn't. You talk about the traditions. Liberal has been there now their fifth consecutive year, so all these players have played in a state championship game or been around the atmosphere. For the Blue Valley players, they haven't been there. The, their players here, it's really their first championship game, even though the, the, the school was there in 91 and 92. These players were only freshmen and junior hires at that point. Grace Haskell, the quarterback for Liberal, warming up on the sidelines, being coached by Coach Witherspoon. And the second half about to begin. He and up is Dustin Mutant at the 40-yard line. Redskins with the lead, 28-7, and the second half is underway. Byers will take it at the 12-yard line for Blue Valley. Cuts it to the outside, finds a hole, down to the 31-yard line, a gain of 15 on the kickoff return. Garrett Hill there to make the stop for the Redskins. So Blue Valley will start it off in good shape at the 31-yard line. They will be going into the wind, though. They uh, had the second half option. They took the football, and so Liberal will have the wind in the third quarter, and Ryan Robertson back in there at quarterback. Apparently, Sam Scott can't go after suffering that knee injury in the first quarter. The pass, happy attack of Blue Valley on the field. First and 10 at the 31. Second, third quarter it is, just underway. Draven in the backfield. The drop pass, and it's intercepted at the 35, to the 30, to the 20, to the 15, and finally dragged down at the 9-yard line, Caleb Tuman. The big pick for the Redskins, and the Redskins who lead 28-7.
right back with the turnover to stretch his second half. Third turnover of the ball game by the Blue Valley Tigers. That's just a poorly thrown pass by Ryan Robertson. And it was picked off by Caleb Tooman. And he just ran it all the way back to the nine-yard line where it'll be first and goal for the Redskins. Tooman turns to his left, and there was the football. And he did everything he could to catch it and does and makes a fine run on the INT. Redskins first and goal at the nine. There's Rosal. He's at quarterback. Cannot get away. Good stop by Ryan O'Rourke to drag Rosal down for a five-yard loss. Ryan O'Rourke enlisted at 244 pounds. He is a senior playing his final game, and that's a great play to drag down Rosal, who uh, just now is getting back up, and Haskell's going to come in to run this second down play. It'll be second and goal at the 13-yard line. One of the many liberal Redskins fans enjoying the afternoon. A beautiful afternoon in Lawrence, Kansas. The wind not that much of a factor. The sun is bright. And the Redskins are bright thus far. Haskell underneath the center. First man through left side. That's Maxwell, the sophomore. He keeps the feet a-chugging down to the five-yard line. Anthony Oric and Ryan O'Rourke there to make the the stop for the Blue Valley Tigers. Landon Maxwell from the eye back position just rumbled all the way down to about the six yard line. Gets a good block in there from Love from the Z back position. And there's Maxwell just putting his head down, looking for anything he can. There's where he's hit. Look how far he goes after the first hit. Third and go from the seven. Haskell on the keeper, trying to cut it outside. Now cuts inside, inside the five, but no more. It'll be fourth down for the Redskins. Dan Phillips there to make the stop for the Tigers. And a decision time for the Redskins. Probably not much of a decision to make. I wouldn't think so. I think you'd go for it here, because even if you don't make it, you pin Blue Valley deep in their own territory. Uh, inside their own five-yard line more than likely where it'll be fourth and goal here. But you've, you've got a lot of faith in your defense at this situation. Liberal's just going to take a timeout and talk about it. Reagan Dreitz brings in the play from head coach Gary Cornelson. And not liking what they saw, they'll take a timeout. 9.27 to go. Third quarter, it's Liberal 28. Blue Valley 7, this 5A state football championship continues. This is KTN West. Twenty-eight seven Redskins the lead. Fourth and just inside of the five yard line. They need to score to keep possession of the football. Redskins with it. Big play for the defense. Exactly. If the liberal scores here, it could be all over. Dropping back and throwing is Haskell. Wide open in the end zone. Hit flee. Touchdown, Liberal. That's a great play. That's a that's an adjustment that was made by Gary Cornelson. When they came out to run the play, Hensley was wide to the left. During the timeout, he ran over and he yelled at Hensley to go inside, line up as a tight end, and then he got behind the secondary man, David Myers, for the touchdown. Dustin Mutant to kick the extra point. Redskins 34. Is it the 35th point on the scoreboard? Yes, it is. 35-7. Redskins with the advantage, and the Redskins have already a championship football Jersey, who knows, still a lot of time to go. You're listening to Redskin Football on KTN West. The America's best built trucks are now at Western Kansas' lowest prices of the year. It's the end of the year clearance on all remaining 95. Save on large pickups. Save on small pickups. Save on vans. Save on Suburban. Choose your favorite GMC and pick up year-end savings at your Southwest Kansas GMC truck dealer. At Mobile Exploration and Producing U.S. Incorporated, we strongly support... Redskins take advantage of a two-month interception then the four-yard touchdown pass from Trace Haskell to Hensley. 35-7, Redskins with the advantage. 9.22 to go, third quarter. Newton again to tee it up. Kick up the middle. And it's taken by Harmon at the 10. To the 20. Outside to the 25. Just outside near the 30. Not quite there, though. Jeff 
Gomez there to make the stop for the Redskins. And it's do or die time now, Rob Houston, for the Blue Valley Stillwell. Ryan Robertson's going to have to step up and do it here for the Blue Valley Tigers. They're down 35-7, thinking they were in pretty good shape coming out of the locker room, but one play and a pick, and then four plays later, Liberal gets into the end zone once again. And so Blue Valley has to have something happen good for them and has to have that happen quick. Redskins beat Blue Valley in 1992. 34-6 was the final there. And there's the ball on the turf. Ball loose. Who's going to have it? Nothing going towards Blue Valley's way. Robertson got it back, but a loss of a couple of yards. That's your second team quarterback working with your first team center. They don't take very many reps together in practice during the week. And then when you're down 35-7 in the state championship ball game, you as the quarterback, as soon as you've thrown an interception as well, all those things going through the backup quarterback's head, and he just wants to try to make something happen so easily, and it just so happened he dropped the football. Second and 11 for Blue Valley. There's the rush by the Redskins, and thrown for a loss is the quarterback, Robertson. Robbie Lanny, number 44 for Liberal, there to make the hit. No time at all for Ryan Robertson. He didn't even have a chance to look downfield as Robbie Lanning coming on the blitz. As you roll to the left, Lanning's outside the tackle, actually, and, and there he is right there, Robertson again. No chance. Receivers hadn't even turned to make their cuts yet, and there's Lanning dropping Robertson for a big loss. You might remember Sam Scott, the starting QB, Injured early in the second quarter, Robertson came in and led Blue Valley to their only score of the afternoon. He looks at a third and a goal mine here. Ball loose on the turf, and again, Robertson falls. No, it's still loose. Picked up by the Redskins in the end zone. They'll mark it down. High school football, you cannot advance a fumble. They'll mark it down, but the turnover over to Liberal. They get it at their own 14. Steve Calhoun, the big, big defensive play. Robertson tried to run the quarterback draw, but the middle was completely plugged up, so he tried to bounce it to the outside and nowhere to go. He put the ball on the ground, and Liberal, two drives in this second half. One started on their own nine. This one starts on, our, on rather on Blue Valley's nine. This one starts on Blue Valley's 14-yard line. 35-7, clock runs third quarter, 7-28 ticking. Trace Haskell is sophomore, QB. High formation, Haskell on the keeper, left side. Breaks one tackle at the 15, cuts it up inside the 15, down to the 13, before he meets head on number 43, Anthony Oryx. Oryx had a nice game defensively for Blue Valley, been in on a number of tackles all over the field. He's their middle linebacker, and their defensive signal caller has done a good job. He just hasn't gotten as much help from his teammates as he's needed, as Liberal's been able to really roll up and down this field. Boy, that offensive line has made tremendous holes for these backs to run through. The deep pitch to Maxwell. Maxwell tries to go inside, now cuts it outside, inside the 10, knocked out of bounds at a five-yard line. Again, Oryx there to make the hit. Good blocking downfield by the uh, line, and also landing out there throwing a block for Landon Maxwell. Very close to a first down. It'll be about a yard shy. Just at the five-yard line, the football will have to tickle the four to make the first down. So a third and one call here for Gary Cornelson. Just a simple toss play right. Get everybody out there and try to outnumber the Blue Valley defense. And they pick up about eight yards on the play. Gary Love will split wide to the near side. There's the option. First back through. Lanning. Lanning's near the goal line. Did he get it? Yes. Touchdown, Robbie Lanning. 41-7, Redskins. Robbie Lanning, minutes ago, made the big, big defensive play. He scores from five yards out, and it's the blowout time for Liberal. They have a tremendous advantage. Right up the middle with Robbie Lanning. He scores from five yards out, and the Redskins, with 6.38 to play, have just increased their lead once again, now up to 41-7. Luton with the point after touchdown. It's in the air. It's good. We're going to stay right here as the Redskins continue to pour it on. 42-7, their second touchdown this third quarter via the turnover. Here it is, just a simple handoff to the first man. Robbie Lanning puts his head down, pushes one, two, three tacklers, and he's still fighting hard, and he, there he is, gets into the end zone. 
for the touchdown. Look at it again from up high. There's three guys that Robbie Lanning just pulls through to get it into the end zone and extending the liberal lead to 42 to 7. Man, oh man, you come to the ballpark today. Who would have ever guessed something like this was going to happen? We expected a close contest, but the Redskins, the second and the early part of this third quarter, have blown it wide open. How important is championship experience? When you get to this level, once you make the playoffs, Liberal been to the state championship game five years in a row. This is the first time for this particular set of Blue Valley kids. And Liberal is they just made the big plays when they have had to make them. And Blue Valley has just not been able to respond. When Sam Scott went down, there went the spiritual leader of that uh, offense. And yes, on that drive, Ryan Robertson did lead them down the field to get their only touchdown so far on the afternoon. But since then, it has been all liberal from the second quarter on. Well, this game was tied at 7-7 at the end of the first quarter. And since then, it has been all red flag. Eric Love will do the kicking duties. A scribbler up the middle. It'll be... Roll down at the 36-yard line. Blue Valley, no chance but to fall on it. Love was doing the kicking duties. Newton was on the sidelines, as you saw earlier, as they were rubbing his his uh, calf on his left leg, probably just a, a bit tired from kicking it so dang much. 31-yard line's been very their third drive. They've started from the 31. First and 10, Blue Valley needs to get it going right now. Single setback, three wideouts this side. Robertson, the QB, and again, the ball on the turf. Robertson falls upon it, loss of two, and that's happened time and time again this afternoon. It's just frustration right there for Ryan Robertson. When you come in to replace a starting, or especially a quarterback, you don't have time to get nervous. You just come in and you just play. That's what happened after on that first drive. But since then, Robertson has really struggled. And this liberal defense, again, with only three down linemen or four, and the two linebackers, five or six guys just really able to put a lot of pressure on Robertson. Second and a long 11, ball at the 29. Three down linemen for the defense of Liberal High School. Showing the blitz is Lanning, and then they force one of the offensive linemen to move, it'll be a penalty against Blue Valley. Eric Fornall, the right guard, just trying to anticipate the uh, the movement of Robbie Lanning. He showed blitz, and Fornall pulled back just a, a little bit, but that's enough to draw the penalty. Not many flags in a championship game. That's normally the case. They Pass want the teams to Pass. just uh, decide it on the field. And uh, thus far, the Redskins have done just that second down and a long 16 as they move the ball back inside the 25 to the 24 and Steve Rampey looking for answers Robertson with the single setback in Craven Craven with the handoff gets to the 25 he's hit head on at the 26 yard line good tackle by Rosal for Liberal High School Craven a gain of four Liberal more than happy to give up that kind of yardage when you're uh, second and 15, and there's still a lot of time left, but Craven pops it to the outside, but here comes the strong safety, Russell with the big pop on Craven, who uh, will be dropped after the four-yard gain. You're more than happy to give up three or four yards when you're up 42 to seven in the third quarter. These two teams are rivals. The next game this afternoon, 6A state championship, Lawrence and Derby. They've seen those two teams a number of times in the last years as well. Third and four, third and a long 13. Robertson, the fake handoff. Now he's on the roll. To the 30, cuts it up. To the 35, now down at the 36-yard line. About five yards shy of a first down. It brings up a fourth down and, again, decision time for Blue Valley. Well, I think you punt the ball here. I think that's what they're going to do anyway. You may see a fake here. Why not with uh, with Steve Rampey? You know, you're down 42-7. You might just see a snap to the up man. Craven, the, the normal running back, is the up man. Luke Worrell, a 35.7 per punt average this season. And the timeout will be called by Blue Valley Stillwell. We'll stay right here as well. The dictionary defines good sportsmanship as playing fair and being a good winner and loser. We often forget that it is more important to be gracious in victory. Good sports 
courteously and maintain self-control in all circumstances. Remember to be a fan and not a fanatic. What's that word there? Uh, fanatic. Fanatic. There we go. <laughs> when watching interscholastic activities, this public service message from your Kansas State High School Activities Association. You do that next time, okay? <laughs> I'd like to thank the many sponsors making this coverage of this 5A state football championship possible. Nichols Fluid Service Incorporated, GMC Truck Dealers of Southwest Kansas, the Citizen State Bank, the Southwest Medical Center, National Carriers Incorporated, the Liberal Votech, Pizza Hut of Southwest Kansas, and Klingon Tire. Fourth and punting situation. It's a fake. And the pass is caught near the 45 first down for Blue Valley. And as you mentioned, Rob Houston, they had to do something just like that. Well, exactly right. David Myers on the reception. When you call a timeout, you're down 42 to 7 and you're in punt formation. Everybody in the stadium knew it was going to be a fake. But more importantly, Blue Valley was able to carry it out and convert for a first down and keep their hopes alive. 351 to go. First the third quarter, 42-7 Redskins, seeking their third title in five years. Robertson, a new series at the 45. The Cravens, the handoff, cuts it outside the 40, cuts it inside to the 30. Good run by the running back Cravens, Eric Love, tripping up the runner, but not before a big game by Blue Valley. You get something like a fake punt that works, and that can just carry your ball club. And and Blue Valley fans now have something to cheer about for the first time since the first quarter. Just a handoff to Craven. You can see over 600 yards rushing on the season. And if Love doesn't trip him up right there, that may go all the way for six. Ball marked down at the Redskin 29-yard line. First and 10 for Blue Valley. Craven the only setback in the backfield for the Tigers. Robertson the QB. Again, the delayed handoff to Craven. Breaks the tackle. Inside the 25, down to the 22. And again, Eric Love there to make the stop for the skins. He's but running the ball very well. And the Blue Valley line opening up some holes now on this liberal defense that they were not able to do in the first half. Getting some rushing yards from Craven and being able to move the football down the field against the Redskins. Eight-yard gain brings up second down and two. Ball at the 22. Robertson drops back, throws the pass up the middle, and it falls incomplete. Going for oh, the pass. It. Was Robbie, did he catch it? He caught the football on the deflection. What a great catch in there. Robbie Haas was just maintained his eyes on the football. As a defender, you, you, you holler, Oski, the ball's in the air. Boy, he did catch it. It's a great catch that by is. Robbie Haas. Love was right there, and also, uh, Sarah, well, it might have been. Not sure who the other one was, but there's a great catch there as on the deflection for the Blue Valley Tigers and Robbie Haas. Redskins will take a defensive timeout. The ball was in the air, Rob, and I thought Liberal had just as good a chance to, to catch it as the offender, but what a great catch by Robbie Haas, who makes his 15th catch of the season. Two what? touchdowns in 1995. And what Liberal's battling right now is is the intensity factor they kind of let up a little bit on the defensive side you know you're up 42 to 7 late in the third quarter it's real easy to do obviously but blue valley is still intense they're still trying to put some points on the board and not giving up in this 5a state championship game and so gary cornelson takes the time out right there to tell his troops hey you've got to play a full 48 minutes of football and uh you know there's still over 14 minutes left so uh, get back on it and Try to shut down Blue Valley and keep them from getting some more points. 2.25 to go third quarter, first and 10 from the 11. So Blue Valley actually can get a first down before they would have to score a touchdown. Robertson, the sub quarterback, he's done a fairly good job. Drops back, quarterback delay. Now he's on the scamper to the outside. Inside the 10, cuts it near the six yard line. Finally, throw out of bounds by Garrett Hill. Lanning also over there, just pursuing him out. Robertson, uh, as the backup quarterback, when you get it to the outside, he is the backup, is more a tendency to 
tuck it under and run as opposed to looking for a second or a third receiver. You don't have to do that very often in practice. And Robertson just tucks it under, gets what he can, and gets about five yards. And trailing by a bundle, Robertson did the only thing he could do, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Second down, ball marked down at the six. They need to get to the one for a first down. Now the clock will run. Robertson on the motion, being pursued, and finally, well, is he down? Yes, finally drug down. Three Redskins make the hit, finally bringing him down. That's Matt Steen. Big loss for Blue Valley. And there's that pressure on Robertson because Robertson had a man open in the end zone. Uh, back there open, uh, Jay Wombolt was in the back left corner of the end zone. That's where Robertson's looking. He almost threw it, but then he couldn't because there was Omi. He got away from Omi. Then he got away from Calhoun, but finally Ben Steen finished him off. Clock will run now, 142, third quarter, 42-7 skins. They've scored twice here in the third period. Blue Valley threatening. It's third down from their 16. They need to get to the one for the first down. In motion comes a receiver up the middle. Wide open ball is dropped by Robbie Haas, and that's one that he has not dropped that many times this season. And then he got, he got reminded that he's playing in a championship game there, a big stick. Good pass by Robertson. And yep. Good pass by Robertson. There's the man open, Haas. He should have had it right through his hands, and then boom, lowering the boom on Haas. He just took a huge stick there, and he's shaking off the cobwebs as he comes back into the huddle. Fourth down. They'll go for it. 121 to go. Robertson gets instructions from the coaching staff on the sidelines of Blue Valley. Robertson has done a respectable job here in relief of Sam Scott who went out early in the second. Here's a big play. Robertson, the lob pass to the corner and it's out of bounds incomplete. That's the pass they scored on this time. Haas could not bring it down and the ball is goes over to the Redskins offense. Haas had run out of bounds anyway on his pattern. He'd been pushed out of bounds and then tried to come back inbound. Couldn't make the catch anyway, so the timeout by Gary Cornelison works as the Redskins stiffen on defense, and Liberal takes over on their own 17-yard line. 1.16 to go, third quarter. Redskins 42, Blue Valley 7. Skins can use some time off the clock here now. Trace Haskell trots onto the field to lead the Redskin offense, which has played so very well on this state championship Saturday. Haskell. A little mishandled in the backfield. I think the running back went one way. He went the other. Ryan O'Rourke there to knock Haskell down for a couple of yard loss. One of the first miscues offensively for the Redskins this afternoon. And again, there's that lack of intensity again. You say 42 to 7 lead. It's hard to fire out of there with the same intensity you had when it was a 7 7 ball game early in the second quarter. And a little miscommunication between the running back and the quarterback. Somebody went outside, somebody turned inside, and they were supposed to do the opposite there, and oh, a loss of a couple. Second and long, first back through Lanning. Lanning back to the 20, a gain of three. Clock will continue to run, as you see it on the on your television screen. Anthony Oreck there to call down the big senior running back. It'll be the final play of the third quarter. Might get one more in. Redskins. Three, one score in the first, three scores in quarter number two, two scores off two turnovers here in the third. They have the 42-7 advantage. Just under 10 seconds to go, third quarter. Third down for the Skins, third and eight. Haskell on the run, the 25, the 30. He's at the 40. He's near the 45-yard line, knocked out of bounds as the first third quarter ends. Reed Christensen knocking him out, but not before the 25-yard scamper and the new series for the Redskins. That was a great run by Haskell. He had the, end, the defensive end pushed to the inside, got to the outside, no contain, and a big first down for the Liberal Redskins, who are one quarter away from their second consecutive state championship. Redone, 42-7, Redskins over Blue Valley. For over 10 years. 42-7, three quarters done here at the uh, Memorial Stadium in Lawrence, Kansas. Redskins, a tremendous 42-7 advantage as Coach Gary Cornelson 
quite possibly a quarter away from eyeing another state championship. First and 10 for the Redskins to start this third quarter. Calhoun finds an opening up the middle. He's at the 30, to the 25, down to the 20 yard line. A 30 yard scamper by Calhoun. Mike Merrick there to knock him down, but had a hole. Rob Houston and Mack Truck could have ran through. I might have been able to get through that hole, well, Tracy. I don't know. You, I know you could have, but Calhoun, just a big hole and only one man to beat. And Mike Merrick saved another liberal touchdown on that run. Big hole right up the middle between the center and the left guard. And Liberal's going to take their third and final time out here after that big run from Calhoun. 42 to 7 this fourth quarter, 15 seconds old. Again, some of our sponsors bringing you this state championship game include Mobile Exploration and Producing, U.S. Incorporated, and of course, KUPK TV 13 and KTN West. Time out on the field, 42 7, Liberal. If you have an emergency, the first doctor you see should provide fast professional treatment. The emergency room at Southwest Medical Center in Liberal is physician staffed 24 hours a day by a competent team headed by Dr. Graham Key. SWMC in-house specialists provide diagnostic support. Pathologists Dr. Hubert Peterson and Dr. Jan Akini and radiologists Dr. Kamali Decato and Dr. Asan Zanali perform tests and imaging to give your physician the proper information to diagnose and treat your illness. At Southwest Medical Center in Liberal, Redskins with the football at their 20-yard line. 11.45 to go, as you see on the screen. The time left in the ball game. Skins 42. Blue Valley 7. Tracy Utes alongside Rob Houston bring you today's championship contest from Lawrence. First man through. Calhoun, he gets across the 20 near the 15-yard line. A gain of four. Anthony Oryx, whose number has been called a number of times this afternoon. Another big hit by Blue Valley. Same play for the Redskins that they ran right before the timeout. This time they ran it to the right side with the first man through Calhoun. And Oric able to slide down the line. Makes the tackle, but not before a three-yard gain. Three-yard gain, second and a long seven. Haskell has directed the offense perfectively. Keeps it, trying to get outside, nowhere to go. Tackle made again by Anthony Oric. Gain of a couple, it'll bring up a third down. Redskins quite obviously trying to run time off that clock. 10.56 and counting, but it's 42 to 7, a very comfortable lead. It was 7-7 at the end of one, but since then it has been all red and black as the Redskins uh, put three touchdowns on the board in the second quarter, added two more in the third quarter off a pair of key Blue Valley turnovers inside their own 15-yard line. Redskins liking the turf at Memorial Stadium. They lose a pair of state championships in Manhattan. They've won two here in Lawrence on their way to a third. There's the deep pitch. First, rather the deep back, crossing the 15 down to the 10-yard line. Mike Love makes his first carry of the day, and it's a good one near a first down, depending on where the officials mark down the football, quite possibly, and it is our first measurement of the afternoon. And, of course, the chain gang's uh, Murphy's Law, if you will. Anytime there's a measurement, it's all the way on the other side of the field. <laughs> Here's the toss play to Love. Bounces to the outside. Hurdles a man. Gets a couple of extra yards before the swarming Blue Valley defense will drag him down just across the 10-yard line as they have to bring the six all the way across to make the measurement. Defensive liberal high looking to see how at the offense it is, looking to see how very close it is, and it's about an inch shy of a first down. Trace Haskell will bring in the play. They'll go for it, looks like. Ball is at the nine and a half yard line. They need to get near the nine for the first down. It's about a couple inches shy. Well, the way this Redskin offense has pushed around Blue Valley all day, it's a no-brainer to go ahead and go for it and try to keep the clock rolling. Coaching staff of Liverpool High School giving out instructions on a happy afternoon for the Red. Clock stopped at 10-13. Redskins go for it on fourth and inches. Kurtz is split wide to the left. Grace Haskell, the quarterback. Looks over the Blue Valley defense and gets enough. Just needed a minor surge, and that's what Trace Haskell got. 
Yeah, he's across the nine, almost maybe the eight-yard line. So a first and goal for the Redskins as they keep the drive going. And more importantly, the clock will continue to roll now right at 10 minutes while they move the chain. Then they'll set the clock in motion. Once they get the chain reset, it'll be first and goal Redskins. 42-7 Skins by a bundle. Last year they won the state championship, beating Salina Central 40 to nothing. You think Salina Central last week might have been looking a little bit past Blue Valley and looking forward to another matchup with Liberal? I'm sure that probably was the case. In football, you can't do that. Salina Central finds that out a week ago. First and goal from the eight. Love with the carry. Left side finally drugged down by number 58, Dan Phillips. Blue Valley, but out before a gain of two. Love a sophomore. We've been saying sophomores a lot on this Liberal Redskin <laughs> ball club, boy. You know, they don't uh, they don't lose a bunch of seniors every year and then just have to reload. All they do is they just, just keep them right going, right through Gary Cornelison's system. They have a lot of success on the junior high programs, obviously, and that just carries over to the varsity level. And a lot of these players that you're seeing here in the state championship game this afternoon are going to be here for two more years. Rob Houston, of course, the voice of Garden City Buffalo football, the only team to beat Liberal this year. Love again to carry inside the five, heading towards the end zone. Does he reach far enough? Yes, he does. He reaches at the left arm, crossing the goal line. Touchdown. Mike Love, Redskins, 48 points on the scoreboard. Well, the ball is the only thing that has to cross the plane, and Love made that extra lunge to push that ball across the plane of the goal line. And the Redskins go up now 48-7. to seven. Liberal band playing that fight song that we've heard so many times this year and so many times this afternoon. Ryan Cornelson with the point after touchdown. The kick is up and it is good. 49-7. Redskins continue to pour it on this afternoon. 8.53 to go. Here's the touchdown jaunt. Love around the right side. Tucks it under. He looks like he's going to be stopped for two. Look at him drag that hand. He pushed it across the end zone. Ball came loose, but it didn't matter. The ground caused the fumble. He'd already crossed the plane of the end zone. Here it is again from a different angle. Caught about the two. Look at him outstretched. Right there across the end zone. That's a touchdown for the Liberal Redskins. And they extend their lead all the way to 49 to 7. Great camera coverage, guys. Outstanding shot of the touchdown by Mike Love. His first touchdown, or his third touchdown of the season, came in the game averaging, well, he had 15 rushes for 112 yards. But that's the biggest carry of his sophomore season, a touchdown in the state championship contest. And the state champion banner already has been unveiled on the Redskins sideline. Blue Valley's just in shock right now. They just don't know what hit them as uh, Liberal makes the long drive up from southwest Kansas and is going to come in here and get their third state championship in four years. Redskins again to keep, kick it off from the 40. That's Eric Love with the kickoff duties taken at the 15-yard line by Harmon. Harmon gets out near the 30. That's where the Blue Valley will take it over with 8.45 to go fourth quarter. State football championship weekend has seven divisions and seven state champions to be crowned on this Saturday afternoon from 6A all the way to eight-man division two. A good one to follow this one this afternoon from Lawrence. Lawrence High, who's been to a state title game nine straight years, take on defending champion Derby, who is in their third straight state championship game. At the rubber match as well, because Lawrence beat them here two years ago, and then Derby came back to shut out the Lions last year. 49-7, Skins with the lead. Blue Valley with the football. Robertson, the quarterback, rolls to his left. Looks for a man downfield. Nowhere to go. Good defense by the secondary of Liberal High School. Pass it thrown to Nick Madlin, but... It was about 10 yards shot. Well, Kevin Omi was in pursuit of Robertson as well as Steve Calhoun. And Robertson just running for his life back there. Didn't have any chance to make that to make that completion to Madeline downfield. Robertson looking towards the sidelines for any help whatsoever. 
Harmon will split to the near side of the screen. As Blue Valley not giving up. 16 to go in the ball game. Craven with the carry right side. Did some good yards, about a seven yard scamper. I don't think he got out of bounds as the clock continues to run. Jason Andrews there to make the hit for Liberal. Well, yeah, the clock does continue to run as they just run it to the outside. Craven bouncing to the outside, got a block there, but Andrews able to bounce off of that block and drag him down by the jersey up around the shoulder pad, and it's third down and about three to go. Ryan Robertson, a 151-pound junior. Again, Craven the carry. Gets the first down and much, much more. Ryan Cornelson nails him down near the 45-yard line. Another good run by the senior. He's a big kid at 192 pounds. And moves the sticks for the Blue Valley Tigers, first and 10. You just, this Blue Valley team, just the air went out when Sam Scott went down at quarterback. He's obviously the inspirational leader and the leader on the field for this team, over 2,000 yards passing. When he went down with the knee injury late in the first quarter, it was really tough for that Redskin or for that the Tiger offense. They have not really moved the ball well since he went out of the game. And you probably would expect that. Robertson. Muffs it momentarily. Now he'll keep it around the right side. No gain as the signal cutter runs it out of bounds. Clock will stop with 7.09 to play. Now, Rob, any time you lose, the caliber of player Sam Scott is. Came in 60% completion ratio, 156 of 264 attempts, 2,000 yards, 23 touchdowns, 187 yards passing per game. He's the guy that gets it to the receivers, and if he's not out there, that is indeed a big, big blow, and Steve Rampey knows that's exactly true. And then he tried to keep the ball on the ground to get something established rushing the football, and even though Liberal only had their nickel or maybe their dime package in, Blue Valley really never able to run the football against the Liberal team until late in the ballgame. Second and 11, ball thrown up the middle. Pass intended for Dustin Harmon, but... The secondary again applying the pressure. I believe Rosal there. And other than Harmon's touchdown catch, the only score of the game for Blue Valley, really he has been quiet as well. Dustin Harmon on the year, 67 catches coming in for 994 yards. Has, I believe, only two catches here this afternoon. And they've really kept him in the entire passing game of Blue Valley in check. They've got to credit the coaches for Liberal, the defensive coaches. They have just done an outstanding job preparing for this state championship game. Great defense. The offense has played very well. They've taken advantage of turnovers. They've ran a trick player to Redskins 49, Blue Valley 7. Third down and 11. Robertson being pursued. He's drugged down at the 32-yard line. Big hit by Steve Calhoun. A loss of 15. Fourth down for Blue Valley. Penalty marker down, but it looks like in the area of holding, so... We'll wait here again. Robertson, just no time to throw. Already running for his life. Not able to look downfield. Calhoun, big game defensively. Before there. Big game defensively for Calhoun uh, for the Liberal Redskins. Hensley really got him going offensively on the fake punt run and then the run for the touchdown. There's so many names, so many numbers that have played so very well for Liberal High School. A team effort indeed. You mentioned Hensley, you mentioned Lanning, you mentioned uh, Trace Haskell's done a good job at quarterback in the squad. There's the punt. Third punt of the day for Blue Valley. Redskins will watch it roll down to use time off the clock. It rolls out of bounds. The Redskins will have it at the 11-yard line. 6.42 to play before a second straight state championship. Now the celebration already started on the near sidelines for the Liberal Redskins. As the long drive from Liberal to Lawrence has been a happy one for the Redskin faithful. They've just played a great ball game all afternoon. You see on the, on the screen there Gary Cornelson with a smile on his face as he's getting ready to send Trace Haskell in with the play. And this is the time where you'll get to see uh, some of the sophomores and the freshmen that have made the trip that are in uniform get to play some in a state championship game. And that only bodes well for the future. Sure, that means they could possibly be here again next year. Haskell is the first, first man through Lanning. Lanning 
caught by the jersey, but he doesn't want to go down. Finally dragged down near the 19-yard line, but not before a gain of nine by the senior, Steve Calhoun. So I think they're going to give it to the seniors. They've been so very important to the Redskins five-year run. No doubt about that. They've really been the heart and soul. Last year's senior class was outstanding, and now this year's senior class as well. You've got Calhoun in there as a, as a senior. Matt Hensley, the two we've talked about, senior. Caleb Tooman had a big interception early in the second half, planning a senior. Eric Love with the touchdown run. He's a senior. Matt Steens had a couple of quarterback sacks as a senior. They've just played some, some great games here this afternoon. Haskell, the handoff. Breaking a tackle at the 30. That's Wilshire. Wilshire on the run. He stopped. Now he goes back near the 45. A great run by the junior. Big, big gainer. Mike Merrick there to knock out Wilshire, but not before the big game. Here's the carry and the run. His first of the day. Wilshire just putting both arms around the football. Now he kind of stutter steps, picks up a couple of extra yards. Gets pushed out of bounds by Mike Merrick. But he's somebody for Sheck Wiltshire that you'll see, you know, starring in this liberal program next year. 5.44 to go. First down liberal at their own 46-yard line. Haskell again, the quarterback. The keeper, right side, near midfield. Cuts it up at the 45 to the 40, down to the 39-yard line. That'll be a gain of 15 or 16 by the sophomore signal cutter and a new series for the Skins. But look at the players he's got coming back, Gary Cornelson. You know, he's got his son, Ryan. He's got Russell coming back. Grace Haskell, just a sophomore. Kevin Omi, the tight end, just a sophomore. You know, you run down the list. Mike Love has a touchdown. Landon Maxwell stepped in for Montoya also. 13 touchdowns on the year. He's coming back. You know, the rest of 5A and even the rest of the Western Athletic Conference, Garden City, Dodge City, look out because these liberal Redskins, they are uh, on a roll as usual. Five straight state championship appearances. I wouldn't put it past them for six next year. First and ten. Right side comes the new running back for Liberal High School, Marion Smith, his first carry in a state championship gain. And it's a gainer of near eight yards as the clock continues to run. Just under five minutes to go in this one. Well, let's give credit up front to the guys uh, on the offensive line, too. Rorabaugh is a junior. Neiman's a junior. Heston is a junior. Adams is a junior. There's four of your starting five offensive linemen. They're juniors. They're only losing Reagan Dreitz off the offensive line. This program that Liberal runs, Gary Cornelson, is a model program that people around the state can look at and say, if you want to run a program and run a, run a successful program, look down to the corner of southwest Kansas. Second down for the Redskins. That's uh, Wilshire again breaks a tackle. He's at the 20, the 15, inside the 10, finally drug down at the five-yard line. Tackle made by Reed Christensen, but another outstanding run by the sophomore. <laughs> That's a 20-yard scamper. And this play was almost botched from the beginning. Boom, there's the quarterback hitting the uh, running back, Merchette Wilshire, and a great spin move to get away from another tackler. Then he's in the clear. And only one man can catch him, and that's Reed Christensen that will reach up and grab the back of the jersey and tackle him around the collar. But first and goal for Liberal once again with 4.15 to play. Wiltshire is a junior. Excuse me. Rob, you look at this team this year, and you might expect that this year would be the year quite possibly they wouldn't make it. They needed the experience, but they indeed have made it. Right, back, right side near the goal line. I don't believe he got in the running back for Liberal High School. Now, he's wearing number 21, or is it 27? Mike Love wearing number 21. He's not out there. Montoya Ossip, who went out in the fifth game of the season, the All-State running back. And when that happened, Rob, you never knew what was going to happen. But the sophomores did an outstanding job. People stepped up and... Uh, the Redskins, three and a half minutes from their second straight state title. Ball at the half-yard line. Trace Haskell, the quarterback. Right side, the carry is Mike Love, and he crosses the goal line for a touchdown. Made it look easy. Sophomores and the juniors moving it right down the field. Mike Love goes the final yard. 55 to 7. Everybody, I think, uh, in southwest Kansas, anyway, expected a liberal victory. Nobody.
nobody expected 55 to Indeed, 7. Indeed, nobody. Cornelson to toe the extra point. Ball is placed down. Cornelson's kick is up, and it is good. 3.22 to go. 56-7. Redskins that are was... going to be state champions. <laughs> Unless it's the miracle comeback <laughs> of all time, but that was Omi that, cooked the, that kicked the extra point that time. Let somebody else get in there. There's the touchdown run from Love once again. Making it look easy, going over the right side, just pushing people out of there. And the Redskins celebration continues here on the near, near sideline. They're on their feet. And uh, right below them is the Derby crowd coming in here for game number two. They're hoping some of the liberal points stay on this sideline in the game that's coming up because Derby getting set to take on Lawrence in the 6A title game. Blue Valley earning their shot in the state title game, beating Independence, upsetting number one Salina Central for 14-13 OT. The Redskins, meanwhile, beating Arc City rather handily, but they just barely got by a very good Valley Center Ball Club, 14-9, Rob, in a game the Redskins, and you're not going to believe this, offensively only had four first downs. That's amazing. I tell you what, the, uh, the playoffs for Liberal, uh, you know, the, in that second ball game anyway, it was uh, kind of a Western Athletic Conference uh, flavor because... The coach of Valley Center is Mike Smith. He's a former assistant under Dave Meadows at Garden City. So they've been used to what was going on down at Liberal and uh, came in there and gave the Redskins a battle before Liberal came out of victory. Justin Bull on the kickoff to the 25-yard line. 3-14 to play in this 5A state championship game on a beautiful afternoon from Lawrence. There's Trace Haskell celebrating on the sidelines, and why not? Rossell got the start at quarterback, but when Haskell came in, he really lit a spark under this liberal Redskin offense, and uh, they were pretty much unstoppable here this afternoon. Ball at the 26-yard line. Three minutes to go. Robertson, the QB. The handoff. Craven. Craven's ran the ball well. Gets a couple there. Tackle made by Robbie Lanning, and... Mercek Wilshire. Second down for Blue Valley, 2.48 to play. As you see the clock on the screen. Just a little bit, a uh, little bit more to go for the Redskins. 2.37 and counting as the Redskins faithful are still cheering on their ball club. And I think one by one, there's Robbie Lanning coming off the sideline. The huge cheers. One by one, they're going to get the, uh, the seniors out of there and let them all uh, enjoy and bask in the sunlight of a state championship. Second and seven. Robertson drops back, throws it to the wide side, and the pass is incomplete. Good defense by Cedric Freeman for the Redskins. It'll bring up a third down. Clock stops with 2.14 to play. As one of the many liberal Redskin fans that have ventured to Lawrence, Kansas, as they have watched their Redskins win a third title in five years. 56-7. It was tied at seven after one. Third and seven, Robertson finds a receiver open at the 30 to the 35 to the 36. Jay Walmbolt makes the catch very close to a first down. Ryan Cornelson, a small kid, the junior at 125 pounds, but he hits so very hard. Close enough for a measurement. No, it's a first down for Blue Valley. And there was the Gatorade bucket on head coach Gary Cornelson. With a big smile on his face. Quite a job the coaching staff has done considering the injuries the Redskins have faced all year long. We mentioned Montoya Alsup going down in the fifth game. He hasn't played since. Rosal missed two games because of mononucleosis. Freeman's been out in and out all season long. They've done an outstanding job. Craven with a carry. Finds a hole to the outside. Now barrels the shoulder near the midfield stripe. Inside to Redskin territory. Ryan Cornelson gets in the way of Craven. But now before the big fullback gets the first down for Blue Valley with one and a half minutes remaining. Well, the faithful of Liberal High, all they're waiting for is that championship celebration. And that final minute 30 ticks off the clock, and they're again handed that 5A state championship trophy. What a good feeling it is for the Liberal Redskins. 
First and 10 at the 48. Pass caught at the 45. Breaking a tackle, diving to the 42-yard line to Skip Wombolt, or Jay Wombolt, brothers. One's the junior. He's the one that caught it. His brother Skip, the freshman. It'll be a pickup of six yards, but the clock continues to run. We approach the minute mark here in this title game from Lawrence. And to Blue Valley's credit, you know, 105, 104 left in the ball game, and they're not giving up. They're 